Alright, welcome back to um, the character playthroughs for the last little section. Uh, so we're going to pick every character and quickly go through all of their unique things. Um, so each one of the character has an individual little section. Um, and we're going to go through it. Um, so, I don't really know who to start with, but I just know who you can't start with. Let's start like we did with the playthrough and go with Ted. This doesn't look like anywhere Am has sent me to before. It certainly isn't the surface world. I've been tricked. <laughs> yes, okay. So again, like I said before, you can't actually, you don't actually know the password because it's not significant to you. Enter password. So the dates that Ted can type are 13, the age at which you left your family of tenant farmers to seek your fortune, or 19, the age at which you met Candace and learned how to be a socialite. So again, these are all relevant numbers to the, to, to the um, person who's there. And the only one who knows it right off the start is Nimdok. And we don't want to do that. So we're going to go this way. Now this is some cryptic adventure game stuff to try and figure this out. Um, I, I don't know why it's like this to be honest. It's, it's so bizarre. I hope that Am isn't leading me on another futile trip through a lava field. Yep. Let's keep going. can't assume I can trust this one. I don't know why they think it's an angel, because I don't see why they... I, I don't get the symbolism as to why it is, but they all seem to comment that it looks like an angel. Okay. There's a very disagreeable odor in the air. That's not a good omen. Okay, so... You have to take one of these skulls. Now, I know which one to take, because I've done this before, but... If you don't know, you I mean, as you can see, it also zaps you. And again, get damaged. So then we take the remote control, which we need for another one of our puzzles. Remote control. Okay, let's go down. Now, as you may have guessed, have I found the way back to the witch's castle? The one with all the gothic architecture is Ted's one. Stare all you want, gargoyle such a tool. Okay, so you have to use a remote control on these. Behold the sword in the stone. Whoever can remove the sword from the stone shall be king. All right, so obvious you know, gallon, you know, what, what do you call it? Chivalry kind of things. And you may have noticed we have a slightly, a slightly different inventory. Each character has one unique item, and for him it's the item of gallantry. When you look at it, they play a particular sound. You get your crappy MIDI trumpets. Let's just have a quick look at that. The gargoyles are staring at this power node. I don't know how he knows it's a power node. Anyway, you have to use the same thing you do with every sword and a stone and use gallantry. a spell and shorted out the laser beams. Yeah, that's exactly what must have happened. Anyway, so you have a look at it now. The shocks shouldn't be so severe now that I've lowered the power running through this node. Now, this is significant because it, um, it determines how much damage it does to the other characters once you've done it. However, we actually need to get out now. That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. As you can see, so it, it still damages you, but nowhere near as much, which is good. And it's also good for any characters who need to come in later. And we just gotta keep doing this until we die. I think this should be the last one. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. Okay, now again, this this is kind of a good ending because again, it means they've died and they've died doing something relevant to them. Let's get back to this guy here. This looks like the surface. We've already seen that. Um, now you may have guessed that. Actually, no, sorry, we need to go this way first because um, this is again very annoying adventure gamey kind of thing. Dot. We've already seen this. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already seen this, please go back and watch the previous video because it's. A lot more important to the story. 
And um, I'll probably spoil a bunch of stuff as well. So please go back and watch that if you haven't. What is that piece of equipment over there? Okay, now Nimdok's a pretty clever guy. And unfortunately the person who does need to use this is not a very clever guy. We need to do that. To make Mania at the end. This image is of a woman. But I do not know her. Okay, so we don't know her, not relevant to us. This looks like a research station. Again, you would think that might be Nimdox, but there's a very a, a lot more obvious one. A rams. In that um there was obviously a mass grave back there. So we're gonna go back to that one, because that's the one that's important to Nimdok. Why? I have And if you look at these ones. One of the others lower the power intensity running to this node, and I am benefiting from their efforts. Okay, so as you can see, that's that's helped us out. So every time you get shocked, ah, memories of mass graves are coming back to me. So every time you get shocked, you um, you, you take less damage than you otherwise would have. Okay, so we're gonna take the middle skull because I've done this before and don't need to randomly guess. Yeah, you can see there's a hand that's come up there. I see a number tattooed on this arm. There is only one place where atrocities like this were committed. Okay. Come, Nimdok. Take my hand and rejoin the lost tribe. Okay, so obviously this is the hand of the um the guy who got the golem to kill us. I want to take his hand and we will do that. I am so sorry for what I have done to my people. How can you take me back? You have much to answer for, Nimdok. But acceptance of your heritage is the first step towards atonement. The rest of that road lies ahead. So again, we have another pillar here. Another power node. Barbed wire. Like at the camps, all the suffering I caused. Now we need to get in there, to, you know, like the simple thing to Ted, there's something pre uh, preventing us from going close. We have our access, which we're going to use on this. Astounding! I was able to get past the barbed wire by lowering the power intensity with my mind. Alright, so again, he's lowered the power intensity. Now remember, we were almost dead after taking two shocks last time. Now we've taken one shock with less power, and sorry, two shocks with less power now, and you can see we're we're pretty much fine. Again, so it takes four shocks to kill us as opposed to three now. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. Okay, we're gonna go with Garista. Christ, this is like the dreams I've had of splattering my brains all over Am's deck plates. Have I finally gone insane? Okay, so firstly we'll use this. Enter password. Yeah, and he doesn't know the password. Um, but they've got the two two things which he thinks are relevant, might be relevant enough. So we've got 20, the number of years he spent on the road as a truck driver, or 2006, the year that Glynis left and moved back in with Edna. Obviously none of those are correct, but it just gives you a little bit of an insight into what he thinks is particularly important. And obviously for him that's the neglect and the, um... That face. There's something about it that reminds me of when Edna was trying to sweet-talk me into taking her down off the meat hook. Um, so you got the... The reason for the... Re um... A, a number related to his neglect for Glynis and also the other number which is um was it uh when when um he moved back in with it when she moved I back in with like Edna. The look of these thorns sticking out of the ground okay so does Garus to know her this woman isn't real she's some kind of projection and obviously that's you know not important to Garus to. the air is cold here like the freezer back at the honky tonk a slight clue there so we're going to use this workstation 
the raised power node. Let's have a quick look at that. Oh, our totem here is life. We have the totem of life, which again is um, juxtaposing Gorister's wish for death. What's this panel shaped like a hand? Uh, it shocks you, obviously, at the moment. Okay, now cylinder one and two, they got the red thing on them, they're locked. Let's open three. Automaton prepped for programming. So that's a robot. They have these programs. Automaton not responding to programming. Automaton not responding to programming. Okay, so not much we can do there. But we do have Glennis. She looks just like Glennis. Maybe the people I met in the honky tonk weren't real either. Glennis, talk to me, honey. You don't ever take me dancing. Do remember that was the last that was the words which um, led to their fight, after which she left. So we're gonna use life on her. Gorister, it wasn't all your fault. We both made mistakes. That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. Okay, so we can't do anything else about that. Look, look at the power, the power node. Probably damn. Glennis lowered the power intensity for me. I guess she's forgiven me too. Again, that's all we can do as Garster. So we're just going to keep using this until we die. A shock. After so many failed suicide attempts, Garster has finally achieved death. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. Okay, so let's go with Benny. Jesus, this place is more sickening than that bloody mess on Hamburger Hill back in the war. Now you may notice that um, Benny's color isn't white. That's a bit of a bug with this one, apparently, that you can't actually, no matter what you do, he ends up, um, he backers out at the second highest level. Let's have a look at this one. Enter password. Okay, so type three, the ranking of your Air Force, the, your your ranking in your academy graduation. And this one is messed up. 15, uh, Private Brickman's age when you shot him between the eyes. So not only were you a serial killer, you killed a 15 year old, um, 15 year old boy. Which is pretty messed up. That face, it has the satisfied look of having just eaten a feast. Now let's go down here. Now this is this one is a little bit incongruous. I know that the um, the book's the book and the game's the game, and they're very different canon wise. Um, but you'll you'll oh, you'll see what I'm, I'm talking about. I'm starting to feel hungry. Is there anything to eat around here? So let's have a look at this person. It's Manya. I haven't seen her since I shipped off to Asia over a century ago. Manya, it's me, your husband. Benny, they said you were missing in action, but I knew you'd return to us. I've been saving this for you. Manya, hurry up. Oops, sorry, missed what she said. Man hurry home, Benny. The girls and I are waiting for you. Okay, so <laughs> the implications here is that Benny was married with children. Um, in the book, Benny was gay. And they made, made a little bit of a point of that. Um, so it, it doesn't really matter, it's just interesting to see the difference. We have a look at this one here. Oh, sorry, our totem is love. A power node. But it's covered with thorns like some of the jungle traps I encountered in the war in Asia. We're going to use love with the pillar this time. I don't know what... Oops, I have to use love with her. Hi, Benny. You never told me you loved me before. I'll go put these flowers in water. So the flower, the flowers covered the thorns. 
I guess that compassion does have its rewards. Listen well, the power control Penny. is now set to low, so Am won't be able to give people such a strong jolt. Okay, and that's our goal done for Benny. The thing is, if uh, with this thing here, just quickly. That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. Um, yeah, the, th the reason you have to use, I think you can use Gorister as well. Uh, Gorister, Nimdok, Ellen might be able to do it too. Now I think about it. Um, but yeah, if if you can't just come in with Benny, you can't actually complete this because he doesn't know how to work this. You need someone who does to um, make the hologram appear beforehand. That shot. Let's just finish off Benny. Benny has rejoined his squadron at last. Your four companions are dead, human. You are our last hope for shutting them down for good. Prepare to be translated into binary. Okay, so yeah, last chance. But again, dying, yeah, not such not such a bad you know outcome, really. Transported to some kind of information network center, but it looks organic instead of electronic. Jesus Christ! I'm an engineer, not a brain surgeon. What do they expect me to do? All right, so let's have a look at this. Enter password. Okay, so we got um, seven. The elevator floor she was on, and 2002 when she graduated. Again, none of those are right. So let's go this way. Now there's one little area we haven't gone in. And again, the, the characters make it slightly obvious when you're in their area, as opposed to someone else's. Steady girl. There's yellow ahead. Okay, and we have Valor, is our, um, is our totem. Could that be an angel? Funny. Why did I just flash on Ted just now? Yeah, again, a little bit weird. I don't know why they see it as an angel. Got crazy cheekbones, though. Look at those cheekbones. Something about this place breaks my heart. Okay, so we have to take this skull. So we got the gem, which you might remember from the um, scenario. And here we have a nice little spot for a gem. We'll look at it first, though. This hole is the same shape as the power gem I found in the pyramid. Connection, perhaps? A blue gem. I'll put that in there. Oops, hang on. Just need to get out of the way. Okay, so we've got this one here. Great big pillar. This lever is marked power intensity, but I ain't gonna put my hand into a lava pillar to turn it off. Yeah, use Valor with the pillar. Sweet Jesus. I felt my mind push aside the fear and the heat to lower the power controls. Alright, and that's basically it for this one. Um, so this is just the little scenario is that the characters have to get a little bit of closure you know, overcoming their fear and using their newfound strengths to um, help everyone out. Hopefully succeed. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that and I will see you next time for the bad run. At this stage it's with um, Ted, but that could easily change depending on who votes for what. Okay, thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!